Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at the NG OBD2 device. So NG got in contact with me and uh, they said, um, we'd like to send you uh, one of our devices to test and review. Um, so they did, I said, okay, I'll have a look, that's fine. Uh, but obviously the review will be an honest review. So uh, I've run it for a while. Um, it's aimed, I think, at car owners who use a garage for repairs. It's a Bluetooth device, essentially. Uh, it's available in Android or Apple options. And I'll put a uh, purchase link in the description for the video uh, for you to uh, take a look. So this, this is the device. Uh, it's a standard OBD2 uh, socket device. Uh, it's pretty plain looking. Um, along this bit here, when you plug it in, uh, the, uh, there's LEDs at the back here, and there's one for power and um, data, and they're quite bright. When they're plugged in, you can um, see them operating. Coupled with the dongle is an app, and this is where uh, this particular dongle becomes very useful for those who are non-mechanically minded. As if the device detects a fault via the OBD2 system, it notifies the mechanics in your area and they submit quotes for you from there. The app itself does direct you where to connect the dongle if you aren't aware, which is uh, useful and uh, within the app there is a section which takes you through finding your particular model of vehicle uh, and then uh, it gives you a picture reference of where to plug it in uh, and with a brief description. So once you plug the uh, dongle in and you'll get power LEDs and connection lights will come up on the back here and then you can, can connect your device and that might be a phone or tablet perhaps um, as you would to uh, any Bluetooth device in a normal way. Now you do get uh, in the box, you get uh, the box, the device and there's a little, there's a little instruction booklet here about how to um, connect uh, the device to uh, the app. The interface is simple and easy to navigate, which I personally liked, and those not technically minded will no doubt appreciate it. Interestingly though, I did try to connect this dongle to Talk Pro, and it did connect and operate fine. So if you wanted to expand and move into more in-depth OBT2 diagnostics, you could do in time. On the MR2 though, this dongle did activate the flashing ABS light problem that you see in cheaper Chinese dongles um, so you would have to on the if you bought this for that kind of vehicle you would need to plug it in after the engine has started although in the FAQs it does say that you can leave this device uh, plugged in because it only uses a very minor amount of power in the same way a car alarm does um, I have experienced these um, draining uh, or being enough to drain a vehicle battery over a significant period of time if the car isn't being used. Uh, and I had this with uh, a different um, OBD2, uh, one of the Chinese Elm 327 dongles, which I think this is um, possibly based on. Not the Chinese one, perhaps, but I think on that protocol. Um, so as I say, I don't think this has a power down mode, so you may want to uh, unplug it. But if you're using your car regularly, uh, and I only experience this because the MR2 for me is, uh, isn't my daily driver. Um, so it is left for periods of time, not used. Um, so if you use on a daily driver, uh, you should be fine and you will get the benefit out of it, whereby your device connects to it automatically if you leave Bluetooth on. Uh, and then you can get updates um, from it. As I say, I don't think this has a power download. During my time using the dongle, I did have an unrelated flat battery on the MR2 due to the lack of use. And I plugged the engine in to see what it would say, and it reported that the battery health was good. Uh, so this is perhaps something that the developer needs to look into. 
Overall, I think this is an interesting take on OBD diagnostics. It's certainly the sort of thing I'd props by my mum or brother who aren't going to undertake diagnostics themselves and generally bring their cars to me or take them to the garage. Garages submitting quotes automatically I think is useful and there's no subscription service for that. The garages themselves pay a small percentage to be in the scheme. So it's other than buying the dongle itself, cost free for the end user. So getting quotes submitted from your local garages for you to compare without having to drive around and deal directly with the garages I think is quite powerful for a car owner. So that's the NG OBD2 device. Um, it's currently available for £15 uh, for Android. I think it might be a little bit more expensive uh, for Apple devices, but um, check the purchase link for current prices. Um, the download of the app is free, but obviously the app is designed to work with this particular uh, dongle. So um, you will need this to take advantage of the full features of the app. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any comments, please uh, leave them in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, please like, and I'll see you on the next one.